Hello, my name is Patrick White, and we're here at the Los Angeles Film School in the heart of Hollywood with Director Brazil. Hello, happy to be here. Founder and creative director of RapBoost.com. Right here, Expo. And owner of Penthouse 1050, Jamil Sharif. Hello. Today we're gonna to have a panel discussion on creative business development and creative placemaking, its cultural impact on inner cities and its surrounding communities. We're gonna go down the line and we're gonna introduce each of the panelists and they're gonna tell you what they do. My name is uh, Brazil, I go by Director Brazil. I'm a music video director, I've been doing it since I was like 10 years old, grew up in Chicago. Um, I've worked with uh, corporate companies like McDonald's, Tide, Walgreens, uh, Playboy, Verizon. Uh, I've directed videos for artists like Tyga, Wiz Khalifa, Diddy, Tyrese, um, Boston My Home, the list goes on. And, uh, and now I have a company called Burn the Boats, which is where we go around the country just helping young artists overcome all their inner blocks and, and really achieve their dreams, basically. We teach seminars, we have audio programs, personal development, and that's it, just on a mission to change the world, make cool videos, and attend a lot of rap concerts, because that's pretty fun. That's what my life's about. Uh, I am, hello everybody, I am Adrian Hart, uh, also known as Expo. I am a recording artist and producer, but I also am an entrepreneur. I am the founder of rapboost.com, and recently I've launched another website called clap.com, and it'll be coming out real soon. So, um, what Rap Boost is, is a, it's a platform for young artists, young entrepreneurs who want to invest in themselves as far as musically and, um, you know, get out there themselves. Um, it's basically a, a platform for anybody, any any genre of music, not just rap. It's, it's all about boosting the, the, the culture itself. It's all about music. So um, it's just about boosting your culture and getting out there. Rap Boost. Jim Sharif. Hey, what's up? I'm Jamel Sharif. I'm the owner of Penthouse 1050 Studios. Um, it's a creative space for individuals that want to be dope. There's nothing but the dopeness there. And um, we have the, one of the biggest site walls in downtown LA. Um, it's 15 feet high, 36 feet wide. Uh, kitchen, the works. So uh, what we do is just not a studio. We don't book just people, we help build people. So we also house uh, uh, a few Olympic um, people in the studio throughout the public um, publications and stuff. As far as you know, the Barber Twins, uh, the, some of the Drew League players um, here in the Venice Beach team. Um, so we do a lot of that as far as talent too as well. We house a lot. So everything is in-house, in-house photography. Um, and we do in-house production as well. Um, coming in the future, we're going to start doing um, equipment when those out for the facility as well. Um, so, you know, we're trying to be the staple mark of downtown Lake Studio. Um, so, that's what I do right now. And in my past, I do documentaries as well. So, uh, I did a documentary at the Dominican Republic called Pay for Play. Check that out too. And some more stuff coming soon. But right now, entrepreneurship. Thanks for having me, LA Film School. Thank you so much, Jim Ashree. And this panel is a result of my nonprofit. Project, Project LA South, which was created to develop, fund, and manage 75 creative startups by the year 2020. Um, so I reached out to Director Brazil, um, and he has been an amazing inspiration. Uh, I did an interview with him. Um, I partnered with Expo as a content creator for his site, um, rapboost.com, and Jamil Sharif has been much of a mentor for me in a lot of my creative endeavors. Um, creative placemaking, which is going to be our first topic, and what creative placemaking is, is when partners from public, private, and non-profit and community sectors strategically shape the physical and social character of a neighborhood.